I am a commercial and real estate litigator. I chose litigation because of two experiences. The first one was uh, in third year of university, I did a stage with a court, superior court judge. Uh, he was a great mentor and he also demystified the court process. The second experience was uh, my articling at the Camp Rechet. I went to court basically every second day. I had the chance to do a lot of uh, contested motions and uh, it gave me basically a good taste of litigation and I really loved it. There's a variety of things that I value about my practice. I'd say that the first one is being on the front line for my clients. I like being part of their success, sharing their success. Also, I love establishing strategies in different files. I learned early that everything comes in different shades of gray, and if things were black and white, they would not be litigation. I can think of two great advices I got from mentors. The first one was, is from the Superior Court judge. He told me the three Ps to success. Preparation, preparation, and preparation. The second one is uh, from a colleague, also a mentor. And it's that in life, you have the poets and the realist. You have to be a realist. Tell your clients what are their chances of success and how much it's going to cost them to get there. I believe that pro bono and volunteer work should be part of everybody's resume. Um, we are very fortunate and we need to give back to the community. Personally, I've, do, I've done more volunteer work in sports and in my community. I've also uh, been on the board of director of uh, the Association of the Meals on Wheels for the Greater Montreal for many years. I believe every experience brings positive in your life uh, and it's basically positive for everybody. Yes, I overcame obstacles in my career. I believe everybody did. Um, for me, it's, it was more being a woman in a man's world. Even though more than 50% of uh, law school students are women, it still doesn't show in the reality. My mother, who's the last of 17 children, gave me the best piece of advice for this. Keep your head high, don't look down, and take the place you deserve. The key factor of my success was my ability to roll up my sleeves and work hard. I love what I do, and it's never been an effort to put the hours and do what I have to do to get there.